Hey crypto bros and sisters, welcome back to the channel as always. I appreciate all the support from all the crypto fam. If you're new to the channel, please consider joining our crypto fam by hitting the thumbs up and subbing to the channel only if you gain any value from the content. All right guys, let's jump right into it. The New York Attorney's General Office, also known as the NYAG, has filed a lawsuit against Genesis Global Capital, Gemini Trust, Digital Currency Group, also known as DCG, this morning guys. This is the same agency that recently sued and charged former President Donald Trump. Here's what Latita James had to say about the lawsuit. These cryptocurrency companies lied to investors and tried to hide more than a billion dollars in losses. And it was middle class investors who suffered as a result, said New York Attorney General Latita James in a statement. James has her eyes set on Gemini Crypto Exchange, ran by Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss. The brothers own a variety of different assets in the industry, including Genesis itself, crypto investment firm Grayscale. The NYAG lawsuit alleges that the three entities defrauded 232,000 customers for over a billion dollars. The Gemini scheme, the NYAG alleges, saw Gemini misrepresent the credit worthiness of Genesis Global when soliciting users for its earned program. Before halting withdrawals last year, guys, Gemini offered users yield on their idle cryptocurrency via the program. To generate that yield, Gemini deposit those holdings with Genesis Global. Guys, I was so close to putting my Bitcoin into the Gemini yield program when they launched it. The interest at the time was over around 10% or a little bit higher, to be honest, in returns and they promised it was safe. At that time, Winklevoss Brothers appeared to be heading to regulations more than any other crypto exchange. I'm so glad I held on to my own Bitcoin. Earn users were also allegedly defrauded by the DCG scheme after the Genesis entity sought to conceal a structural hole at Genesis Capital of more than $1 billion following the collapse of Three Arrow Capitals, a Singapore-based hedge fund that went bankrupt last year, guys. I also believe the Winklevoss brothers are suing DCG and even asked the CEO, Moro Silbert, to step down from the position because he wasn't fit to run it. Silbert stated that the Winklevosses don't want to take any responsibility for transferring customer funds to entities that ultimately went belly up. This is what the DCG had to say about the Attorney General's claims. We fully intend to fight the claims and look forward to being vindicated in this case, a DCG spokesperson shared with Decrypt. We have actively cooperated for months with the Attorney General's investigation in an open and transparent manner. We were blindsided by the filing of the complaint. And there is no evidence of any wrongdoing by DCG, Barry Silver, or its employees. In my opinion, Gemini's biggest failure is when they transferred customer funds to Alameda Research, which was attached to FTX, guys. This was the beginning of the end for Gemini and its sister companies. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit me up over on TikTok at NoCapCrypto with two O's at the end. And if you're watching me on YouTube, you guys already know what to do to help your crypto bro out against these YouTube algorithms. Until next time.